All right, back for this week's video. This week's topic, I'm going to talk about why did God put us in this position as imperfect people in an imperfect world? And again, I want to remind you guys, I, I look forward to your input and your comments. Please feel free, whether you want to type them out, whether you want to do your own video, to give your own thoughts on these subjects and, and what you think and what you believe and what you want to discuss. This is our group. Uh, you know what our mission and goal is, get as many people in, involved in doing this as we can, is counting our blessings. But, on to the subject, why imperfect people in an imperfect world? Well, you know, I'm sure there's many theories on it. I can tell you what mine is. Mine is that basically God created the world with us in it to experience himself from a different point of view. In other words, he is the I am. He is everything. He knows everything. He's been everything. How do you experience that? Well, create us with a piece of him in us, which there is. We all have a soul. Um, but put us in a situation where we have choice. We have the devil, if you will have it. Evil around us is one of our choices. We also have God within us. We are imperfect. It would be too easy if we weren't to just automatically be perfect and be what Jesus was. But because we are not, we have those challenges in front of us that we have to beat. We have to find a way to keep ourselves connected to the Lord, to have a blessed life and a happy life and a great life, and not get bogged down by the worldly problems and the worldly issues that go on around us. Uh, they're so easy to get trapped into, I might add. So easy to fall into the traps. Um, and I have just found that probably, I think one of the easiest and best ways, and it's not always easy, we'll talk about that in a minute, but is to make sure every day you're counting all your blessings. Every day, as often as you can. Spend as much day as you can remembering how many things we're blessed with. I mean, you're sitting back here looking again at my stud walls. <laughs> and my house is down to stud walls and cement floors waiting on permits to get approved and people to come back and rebuild it. But honest to God, I feel blessed. I got a roof over my head. I still got my house. I still got you guys. I got my life. I woke up today with another chance to do better. I was able to do a bunch of wiring in my house that I couldn't get to and stud supports where I'm going to want shelves and stuff because now I can see everything. I mean, there's blessings everywhere. Even the worst of things, there's blessings. My cancer, I think, in, in a sense, has helped bring me closer to the Lord. Uh, count my days and quit thinking I'm fearless and endless and have no end to my life. Not that I'm planning on going anywhere quick. Don't misunderstand me. But there's blessings in everything is my point. I had a really rough week medically this week. I, I don't mean myself just being ill, although that was part of it. Uh, but just bad events with doctor's appointments, things that didn't go the way they were supposed to. Um, I won't get into all the details right now, but I'm just going to tell you, I had to force myself and make sure I wasn't getting caught up in those worldly issues and start counting my blessings, and it was very hard at some point in time. So I think sometimes you just got to stop when you sense that going on. Excuse yourself if you need to from whoever. Take a minute, reconnect, count some blessings, and then go back to where you left off. Because it ain't no fun in the other place. And if you can focus on the blessings, you can focus on uh, the positive around you, your life's just going to be fantastic no matter what. Very little is going to get in your way. So I think that's it for today. Don't want to make them too long, like I said, but really welcome your input. Really welcome you trying to bring some more people to the group to try to grow this group. And let's get everybody out there counting their blessings. We can do this, guys. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Looking forward to hearing from you.